Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever fucking time it is, wherever fucking bumfuck place you're from, I am your host, The Little Hooligan, and today guys I'm doing a brand new segment, um, so forgive me if I fumble my way through these videos, but I do that through every video, so it shouldn't really matter to you guys, but I've come up with a good idea as... Everybody that's joined my live streams will know I'm an avid marijuana smoker and um, I wanted to do something marijuana related for Tangled Social. These videos are going to be set to not safe for work. Um, so you've got to be 18 to watch these videos. So don't be naughty. Don't disrespect the not safe for work button. I don't really want to set anything for not safe for work because it limits the amount of people that see your stuff, but it is considered a narcotic, which to be perfectly honest, I consider it a beneficial herb, but that can be debated for hours, couldn't it? Um, so without further ado, today I've got for you is a nice, bag of sour diesel can you see that these little nuggies you can't see them very well but um yeah it's pretty nice i've had a couple of splits already because i've been doing some other stuff today but um yeah so without further ado i'm gonna roll a split first of all i'm gonna get my rizzler out find a bit of roach Roach, for people that don't know, is a bit like is just basically a bit of cardboard rolled up into a tube um, that you can use as a filter, so you don't get the end of it all wet and soggy and disgusting. There's nothing worse than somebody passing you a soggy spliff. It's horrible putting the spliff in your mouth. You're like, oh fuck me, why am I doing this? But we all done it when we were kids, didn't we? And um, I don't tend to share my joints anymore because I'm pretty much on my own all day, every day, sat at the computer making music or YouTube videos or live streaming. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I need some rolling backy. Like, this stuff is a bit... It says it's sour diesel, but like I don't think it's been grown that great because it's got a um, bit of a chloroplast taste to it. If if you don't know what chloroplast is, it's the planty taste that's in a spliff. If you're like, oh fucking hell, this tastes like it's been grown on the side of a pond. Like um, this doesn't taste like it's been grown on the side of a pond, but you know when you've had that bog weed and yeah we all know it's not that pleasant to smoke but we all smoke it if it's the only thing we've got because beggars cannot be choosers i'm putting a bit of a nugget in here in this one in the grinder um yeah so like the reason I've come up with this bud of the day idea is basically back in 2012 like I came up with so many cool ideas in 2012 but never followed through with them and uh, me and my mate my mate Phil Gill he's a coder and we were going to come up with a um, phone app called bud of the day and each day you're going to be sent a new picture of marijuana and you'll have statistics like what what's it's like um thc level it's, it's cbd level and stuff like that i don't have anything to test the thc levels of this marijuana here and i don't know where to find it nor would I have the fucking money to buy it, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I'm just going to do like the taste test. So 
So far today, like I've had a couple of splits of this, and I think this is roughly around 15 to 17 percent THC. That's what I think from smoking a couple of splits of it. Um, It's pleasant. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a pleasant smoke, guys. So if any of you have not tried Sour Diesel, get your hands on some Sour Diesel because it's, I th it's a fucking indica. Oh, my belly's rumbling again. Oh, I need to eat some dinner. Um, so, yeah, those of you that like your indica, I think it's an indica, get get some sour diesel or like I'm so envious of people that have mat like recreational marijuana shops. Like our closest one is Amsterdam. Like actually, tell a lie, there was some um I saw on the news that the police have sanctioned a cannabis club in um, somewhere like Grimsby or somewhere like that. They've got a sanctioned cannabis shop in the UK, um, a cannabis club where you can go smoke out the back. You pay your fees. Um, all the marijuana is provided provided by other members, and it's all done on a legit basis. It sounds so cool. I hope it catches on because it takes the power away from street dealers because I don't like to fucking deal with some happy Harry hard on that thinks he's fucking big because he's shot in a bit of weed. You know what I mean? Like, we've all come across them fucking balance. I think they're bad boys for it. And, um, yeah, something like that in the UK would be awesome. I would fucking love something like that. Yeah. But we don't even have proper medical marijuana in the UK. We do, but it's fucking hard to get. It's so hard to get a medical marijuana license. And not only that, I've got schizophrenia, so I think they're against giving someone schizophrenia marijuana. But fucking hell, man. Like, I've been smoking since I was 17. If marijuana was a trigger for schizophrenia, I'd be going schizophrenic right now. I would be having an episode every time I fucking smoked a spliff. And it's simply not the case. So, I don't understand what their, that reasoning is. But, um... What can you do? These are the laws of our governments and stuff like that. But, yeah. I don't know if you want me to make another spliff of the day, another bud of the day, or another daily blaze, whatever I'm going to call it. I'm unsure at this moment. Um, but if you sat with me and took the time, thank you very much. If you've got a fucking spliff, Roll it. Maybe fucking. I'll sort out a time every day so we can all sit down and you can have a spliff watching the Daily Blaze or the Bud of the Day. You know what I mean? Or Spliff of the Day. I think Daily Blaze sounds pretty cool. The Daily Blaze. Sounds like a newspaper. And we could sit the basically sit here and just out watch the video while you have a smoke yeah smoking companion anyway guys that's been nine minutes now and this has been the first episode of the daily blaze thank you very much for fucking hanging in there with me and uh, i hope you come back for the second episode tomorrow booyah <laughs>